Amid the Russia Ukraine war, the government of India carrying the legacy of former external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj has launched a multi pronged Operation Ganga to evacuate our citizens stranded in Ukraine. The neighboring countries of Romania, Hungary, Poland, Slovak Republic are being used to fly the citizens back to the country. The mission attempts to bring back 15,000 Indians, of which the majority are medical students. The videos of desperate medical students pleading to return to the motherland had quickly gone viral on the social media. However, questions are also being asked. Why is there such a huge number of medical students in the former USSR colony? Here we try to figure out the reason why students of India pack their bags and ship themselves thousands of miles away to the cold country of Ukraine to pursue their medical dreams. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Apurva and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, I will tell you why do so many students from India go to Ukraine for studies. Let's begin. It is imperative that we give you the number of actual students in Ukraine and not a ballpark figure. According to the Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine, there are almost 18,095 Indian students in the country. And in 2020, they made up almost 24% of the overseas quota of the students. Such large numbers are propelled by the belief that Ukraine's state-run universities are providing high-quality education and Indian parents choose to send their children to these institutions rather than paying a high cost for a lesser-known private medical college in India. Then comes the competition and perils of reservation that force Indians to venture overseas. According to the National Medical Council, there are a total of 554 medical colleges offering a total of 83,075 MBBS seats offered through NEET. For 83,000 odd seats, over 16 lakh candidates appeared for the entrance exam in 2021. As for the NEET results statistics of 2021, a total of 8,70,075 candidates qualified for the exam. Safe to say, a vast majority would have had their heart broken for not getting a decent government medical college. The private colleges charge astronomical fees that are way out of reach for middle class students and thus the Ukrainian medical colleges are a godsend opportunity. According to a Quartz report, fees for MBBS in Ukraine can vary from $3,500 to $5,000. In Indian rupees, that means 2.65 lakhs to 3.8 lakhs per year which is affordable for the Indian students and the education standards are high. Meanwhile, in India, a student needs rupees 10 to 12 lakh annual fees for this four and a half year course and one needs to spend rupees 50 lakh to complete the course in any private college. There is no requirement of an entrance exam and the students can easily pick the college of their choice and get themselves enrolled. To get admission to an MBBS course in Ukraine, students just need to qualify for NEET as there is hardly any criteria for a high score. The presence of diaspora is another big factor that contributes to the migration of students. Also, all the Ukraine's universities are accredited by the World Health Organization and UNESCO. Apart from this, Ukrainian medical degrees are also recognized by the Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, European Council of Medicine and General Medical Council of the United Kingdom. Moreover, akin to India, there is extensive practice exposure to the students in Ukraine pursuing their medical dreams. In return, candidates must take the foreign medical graduate exam. Those who clear the exam are eligible for an internship and license to practice. Nearly 4,000 students with the medical degrees from Ukraine take the FMGE each year, but only about 700 pass. Despite the low success rate, the influx of Indian students in Ukraine has only risen in recent times. Thus, the onus is on the government to stop the brain drain from happening before the students even acquire the required skill set. The previous governments neglected the medical infrastructure in the country and the country is now missing out on the money and the talent of these students. Under Manmohan's illustrious 10-year tenure as the subservient of Sonia Gandhi, the UPA regime only managed to take the total number of aims to eight, out of which six came under the tenure of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. However, in PM Modi's nearly 8-year tenure, 11 additional aims have been added, while 
The work is nearing completion in a few of them. According to the data provided by Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandviya, AIMS at Bhopal, Bhuvaneshwar, Jodhpur, Patna, Raipur and Rishikesh are fully operational and the target date of completion for the remaining 16 ongoing AIMS project is fixed at 2022 and 2023 for two institutes and one each in 2025 and 26. As for the evacuation of the students, Partha Satpati, ambassador of India in Ukraine, remarked that the embassy in Kyiv would continue to operate till every Indian is evacuated. He said the embassy of India in Kyiv continues to operate round the clock 24-7. Today morning, we woke up with the news that Kyiv is under attack. The whole of Ukraine is under attack. This has generated a lot of anxiety, uncertainty and created tension. I would like to assure all of you that the Embassy of India continues to operate around the clock, looking out for the safety and security of Indians here. The External Affairs Ministry will ensure that all the students are escorted safely back to the country, but it is high time that we turn inwards and start strengthening our medical education sector, for we cannot afford to lose on our bright minds to foreign countries.